chapter two, feeling new. All right, let's a new, let's a get right into this. <laughs> chapter two, a fly in a web. With Poppy now free, the situation begins to change rapidly. While you search for any way to escape the factory. Got a, a twitching arm of the yep. new bag, uh, baddie. Hey look, it's Spinel. Oh, thank god, the crystal gems will save us. <laughs> I'm kid, of course. Yeah. A gem-based humanoid would probably live for like billions of years unless their cleavage plane got hit. Because that's how gems work. You hit them right in the cleavage plane, plane they break. I know that cleavage is my imagining more exciting definition. She loves watching you play. When you're having fun, she's having fun. The new Mommy Long Legs from Playtime Co. What's the time? It's Playtime! Playtime Co. is responsible for fun, but not responsible for damage. Yeah. Uh, yeah, there's some more stuff happening on the screen. But, uh... Is happening with Poppy. Something, 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 something. Wake up. What? She's gone? What? Isn't that Max Boopy? Ooh, very scary. Honestly, if the last chapter is you back in the lobby and it all being some weird dream, no one would be surprised. I think there's a... Wow. An all twisted up like a dish rag hooky. When they say go hug yourself, that's not what that means, but sure. We needed that in more Castlevania games. Yeah. Whip puzzles. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so episode two, new mission. Crime scene disruptor. This is, ironically, that's going to be the darkest part of this whole thing, isn't it? Those buttons. That's gonna be all the children's trap souls, and they get freed once you go into a fight, put them into fire or something. Yeah, it's possible. Long distance grab. 360 no scope. <laughs> I don't even have to be in the same room. Oh, it's funny. Uh, Matt Pat was playing it this game, and he's like, "Oh, I wonder if they'll have like trophies." Trophy get. And he was looking directly at the statue while he was saying it. Yep, that's Matt Pat for you. His ability to overlook very obvious details is something to be desired. Playtime Co. is the product of a great I man by the, the name of Elliot Ludwig. 
divorced, but a family man at heart. His sights were always set on bringing amazing toys to amazing children around the globe. Ludwig spent countless hours in the factory, working overtime relentlessly in an attempt to continuously innovate and surprise. In the 1960s, an unfortunate family death had pushed Ludwig down to his lowest. But with so much ambition, he rose back up and continued to fulfill his vision for the Playtime Co. toy factory. Ludwig could never be content leaving a project unfinished. But just how did one man come to create such an astounding empire? How did he manage to stay determined even after suffering such a tragic loss? It all began in the fateful year of 19... And so, like... Like, the idea kind of hinges on, like, one of the episodes where, uh, one of the, where a new young puppy joins, and they already have, uh, equipment for his, like, specialty. Well, they do have, like, this robot dog they seldom use. What else is it supposed to do other than make, like, brand new, fresh equipment? Hmm. Wait for a jump scare? Oh! Yeah, there it is. Sorry. I didn't mean to scare you. I was just trying to get the power back on. Here. Yep. There you go. Hitting the, uh... Yeah, this is the reason why Chapter 2 would probably need the whole thing. I can barely hear. There's a train station nearby. It needs a coat, and I have it. We're gonna get out of here. Oh, I do have the setting style loaf, so we don't get drowned out. Get on up here! Yep. Did you drop the ladder? Come on. No, it's gonna. Well, I'm still a doll. <laughs> well, I'm just gonna look at her for a bit while she still has new dialogue. Uh, don't you want to come with me? You're making me sad. Oh. Oh. Don't look. <laughs> <laughs> I think there's like a whole among the amongst the sleep type thing she that is going to happen later with Poppy. You know how Teddy worked? No. We're playing among the sleep. Yeah. I'll just trust you on that one. Hey, it's a I'm horror here. game that's based around. <laughs> I should be able to follow you through the fence. This way. Around the experiences of a baby. Like a brand new baby. You get a teddy bear which walks, talks, hides toys so you find them. Yeah, I think I've seen that game. No, but did you see what happened to the pillow? I was like, oh, out here, and I ran and went, whoop, whoop. Yeah. Just uh, further evidence of this game's jankiness. Like, we're going to see later on that sometimes when I go to, like, hit the connectors, it will just kind of stop and then yeah. not actually do it. How's the, how's the new wink treating you? Uh, pretty good. That's at the peeling stage of healing. Whee! If I want to see it drop like that, I'll play Jet Set Radio, thank you. 
There was a crime here. I must disrupt it. This will make no sense to crime scene events investigators. I think she's fighting there. Or, oh, over there. She's, she's there. Uh, wow. Okay. She's there. Listen, I'm going to need you to trust me. No. Oh, come on, man. You could have grabbed her. Sorry, Wooly. I was making reference to Amanda Adventure. There. Give you a dire warning without telling you. Yeah, I thought you were making a joke about the uh, wooly hole. Yep. Alright. Yeah. Yeah. Geronimo! <laughs> I guess there was like a hood or something out there. It just goes down to a slide. Oh, it's a slide. But, you uh, found yourself in quite a pickle, Gordon. The cool thing about working for this company is that you get a personalized slide. So I got Eddie M N R, which of course stands for Bumps, Measles, Rubella. Nice. Leith Pierre. Elliot Ludwig, Stella Graybar, and then uh, I think there's one over here, but it doesn't have like a name. So perhaps us? Yeah, us. I'll take a screenshot and turn that into this episode's thingamadoodle. The title card. Crime must be disrupted. Yeah, whatever, when I keep thinking, hearing, hearing, like seeing this name, I keep thinking of uh, uh, Jean Pierre Pornoa. Nice. I'm sure it isn't intentional. But I just keep thinking about po uh, JoJo. Uh, I feel like some people would see uh, a Star Trek reference. This wasn't a. Uh, That's clever. Uh, yeah. So it was uh, Jean Luc, not Jean Pierre. Jean Luc. Yep. Apparently, uh, a lot of people in Canada are Jean something, so. They just call them like JT. Canadians are what happens when you put Frenchmen and Indians into the woods for together for too long. There's no Canada like French Canada. If you lived here for a day, you'd understand. Stay with me, children. These French Canadians can be a bit odd. When you say Indians, do you mean like? Traders or like from India Indians? Trail of Tears Indians. Yeah. Like, hey, we found a map. I'm Christopher Columbus. I'm not going to tell anyone I'm dyslexic, but give me money. Hey, I found India. These are clearly Indians. No, you found America. The guy made a map about it. What was his name? Vespucci. I discovered it. Oh. I don't know what you're talking about. I've beat these people, and they say they're Indians. Oh, it's you... very scary. I hope there's not gonna be a jump scare anywhere. How attached would you say we are to this red uh, hand of ours? 
we had to attach it ourselves, so probably not very. Another crime scene, diligently wooed by me yet again. to like have the symbols between his uh, arms like you know the you know the old monkey toy I'm hoping for his sake he has he earplugs on I, I, uh, I forgot to mention something this looks like a half-life cave except there's there aren't bioluminescent Slug babies around. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. But, uh, something I forgot to mention is that, uh, 
I've uh, I've seen some videos of like the sort of uh, speed run community for this game. Yep. And you can skip your interaction with uh, Mari Long Legs, and they name this uh, skip. No skip. Oh, so, yeah, where they where you put both hands out so you don't lose your red hand. Honestly, it only looks like there's two settings, but could you imagine with the second set, it slows your speed, but you could use all four hands at once. Oh, you could have like a. have it like a weapon wheel? Quite literally. Like the Doc Ock in the movies, name it after the four. Name it after the four people who were controlling it until the crystal broke, so he only he had access to his own mind. sort of old hand maker thing. Oh, basically like a resin printer. Yep. I'm glad there's not smell of vision in this game. Resin stink. I mean, sure, there's odorless ones, but... Yeah, plus this, uh, this building hasn't been maintenance in a decade. Uh, <laughs> You gotta have a... It was abandoned for 10 years, so maybe it wasn't maintenance longer. Uh, at least, at the bare minimum, it's going to have a strong, musty set. The real bare minimum, something, something, I don't know what I'm gonna say. This, this type of thing. dang way. Hey, wait a second. <laughs> no one knows. That's handy. Yep. But oh, don't shoot. No, I'm just going to. If we accidentally get all the trophies, it was totally unintentional. Trust us. Well, I know where most of the trophies are. But I can be. So go ahead and roast. Roast me in the comments, the one not playing the game. Yeah. But, oh, you missed a trophy. It's right here in this section in this chapter. There are only two chapters. Chill. Uh, which one you feeling? You're the one at the helm. Suck it for luck. Yeah, so our green hand stores uh, electricity for about 10 seconds. So. Nice. So it does Minecraft redstone things. That's cool. Yeah. I know when your birthday is! June 28. <laughs> That's Markiplier's birthday. I did not know that. Happy so, birthday! Is this funny, Markiplier? Hello? Happy birthday! Honestly, oh, happy, I'm just birthday. hoping Megas come oh, back in the birthday. Scarlet happy and Violet. You. Because that was the most fun I've ever had with one of the Pokemon games. Mm -hmm. Just find a ditto on an island and mega evolve your Pokemon. And it'll transform into that Pokemon. But can't you vault that form, ditto? Welcome to Musical Memory. This advanced memory and cognitive recognition test is designed to stimulate several segments of the brain. 
allowing us to see how quickly and efficiently your brain works. A sequence of colors will be shown, and you must recreate the exact sequence using the buttons around you. Bunzo will slowly lower towards you. When you complete a color pattern correctly, Bunzo will rise back up. When you input a pattern incorrectly, Bunzo will lower towards you faster. If Bunzo reaches you, your test is over. The test will become more difficult as it continues, with longer patterns in quicker succession. That's all. Good luck. Welcome to Playtime Cal, where play time's fun, but you're the jam and sustain is your own. Mommy hasn't seen the now word from your local mill. Mommy can only imagine how excited If that's what passes for his mill, let's, let's see what Zena's doing nowadays. It's been such a long time since he's been able to play. To cheer. To cheer. Zena and Donna Bunny. Yeah. That's the dinner bell. Good luck. Seven. Red. Yeah, this is Simon Says. Red. Yep. If they want to make it Red. really hard, Red. they yellow. have to do it the uh, yellow. Yeah, Red. it's too bad. Red. Red. Yellow. Um, yellow. yellow. Red, red, yellow, yellow, blue. One, two, one, two, one. You're doing wonderful so far. Yep. Round two. Yellow. Yellow, blue. Yellow, blue, red. Yellow, blue, red. Yellow, blue, red, red. Yellow, blue, red, red, red. Yellow, blue, red, red, red. One, two, three. Uh, colors that pop up when you least expect them. Blue. 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 White. White. Blue. White. Green. White. Green. Hey, you got the original Chaos Emeralds. White, white, green. White, green, yellow. White, green, yellow. Blue, white, green, yellow, red. Yes, we're sharing the brain cells among us. And there's nothing you can do to stop us. Blue, white, green, yellow, yellow red. red. Blue, white, green, yellow, red, orange. Blue, white, green, yellow, red, orange. Blue, white, green, yellow, red, 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 orange. Oh, the more we collaborate, the easier it will be. Mm. Well, this one's pretty easy because this mm. kind of forms a sentence. Blue, so. J. Blue, J. Blue, J. Loves. Blue, J. Blue, J. Is that we at least have auto saves during rounds. Yep. So. Jay. 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 Jay.
smiley face. survival by a parent or something her parents or something but how, but didn't didn't she sneak away onto a freighter and then things go south like rapido I've played the new games I doubt the ones will really establish her to have the uh same personality as the old games were. Honestly, it'll go Sonic Dimensions or something with it, where new Lara Croft finds an artifact she's not supposed to, as old Lara Croft's finding the exact same artifact at the exact same time, and they just touch the artifact at the same time and find themselves in a nexus working together. I don't feel like Lara Croft has a uh, need for such time shenanigans. Anyway, let's let's look at some of these rejected toys. Oh, in the oven, multiple cases of children receiving third degree burns. Yep, it's an oven. Uh, a little bit big to be a proper easy bake. You make it half the size and put. Uh, a light bulb in there? Yeah. Lava lamp, light bulb. Yeah. So poops a lot. Extremely negative reception from various focus groups. Whoever's idea this was should feel ashamed. Management. Yeah. But 
Hey, look, it's the valve logo. <laughs> I'm kidding. What is Palladino with one eye? Uh, do you think he saw us? <laughs> I feel like the toys are gonna bring them together to bring the kids' souls or something. Just burn them on a fire, like, remember? Remember, I am number nine, number nine, or something. Yeah. I think it was this nine. Yeah, I think so too. And I ran no snoring! <laughs> Projected item. Retail shipment number 018345. Reason for rejection. Entire batch of toys is mixed color due to Patty Herbert sabotaging the painting machine. Saboteur has since been dealt with. Dun dun dun. Dun. Rejected item. Barrel of Huggies. Reason for rejection, choking hazard. Children tried to eat from the barrel thinking it was candy. Yes, bright blue is with black stripes is clearly the candy. Is this across the pond in the UK where that, that type of thing is acceptable? Were you... Assuming this is in America. The candy isn't blue here. Some candy is. Blue raspberry candy is blue. But how many small children have access to blue raspberry candy? There's a blue raspberry... Uh, Pick me Paul. Nobody likes him. Laughed out of presentation. Meeting... Eating one reveal and kick me off. Aww. He looks like the fourth dimensional character for egg. Or he has Warang with a hat. Yeah. Have you ever seen Orang? No. Fourth dimensional theater might be something you feel like that. <laughs> What's that behind it? Is that like it's a fairly designed? <laughs> Yeah, I got the tape right here. Ooh, look, flat device. Yep. Oh, look, it's well, it finally happened. After years it of looks being like pretty fast, company actually heard all sure my someone advice. tried to make an yep. off-brand version. They listened very carefully. I guess my word must have really it's, inspired It's pretty fast, but it needs to be less the next less day I got to motor down <laughs> to the freaking island of Misfit Toy! <laughs> Shelves, there's a, a thing for that, uh, that one. Let's see, get quite where it is. 
missing is all the missing. Uh, Spice hair. Not, Not enough appeal to design your name. Make it a chicken. Spice chicken. I don't think uh, that would really matter. Uh, Honestly, I feel like I could do toy design because I'm just easily amused, and most toys are like ADHD calming tools at this point. Yeah. And honestly, they should have just rebranded Owen the Oven for adults <laughs> who, like, cool, like the cool uncle has a living oven. Yeah. Pet Stone. Focus groups were confused. Are you out of ideas, management? <laughs> I think the pet rocks of the '80s did do pretty well. They did amazing. Because you could, because they came with books and these specialized boxes. Those were fun. Yeah. Uh, there's a uh, the page about the like flower puppet thing that was rejected for being too scary. I'm sure we'll see see it in chapter three though. Yeah. Oh, you have to drag it all the way over, don't you? Yep. Yep. Got stuck on the side. There you go. Hey look, you're you're facing aisle C four. Explosions! <laughs> Sorry, I had to. Honestly, if SCP weren't already a privatized thing, I could see it doing well. That's some uh, rejected early versions. Long Legs Concept Version 1 and 2. Too freaky for target demographic. Design needs a simpler, cooler color palette and slimmer body shape. Yeah. I think she looks cute. Same. I guess we're just weird comparatively. Uh, Are you going to lift up the dinosaur? Yes. Because okay. Me jump into the solution, but it's too heavy. We got a little baby jump. Huh? I, I like her, uh, the, you know, well, what body can, outline. What we can see, of course. Yeah. Gotta, you want to see something that makes us really funny? In the railing. But, and uh, it's still moving. Yeah, boss, so, uh. Oh, it's on a cardboard box. Yeah, no, I've seen that happen before. I, I uh, kind of pulled a little. Not, like, not enough, but you can, uh, If you get it to, like, around here, it'll just fall onto the thing and then just stay right up, like this. Yeah. Someone knows their box physics. Yes. So, uh, you know, given the fact that, uh, bot, uh, like, pillows and other things have a tendency to be launched when I run at them, I can only imagine what would happen with, uh, 
Lance in play being like super mad. Yeah. Just imagine the dinosaur hits the railing and then goes flying. I'm sure they messed with those physics a little bit. I would make I would have to draw myself like an overhead map to figure out how to do that. <laughs> I'm glad you free games. Yeah. Oh no, Steam! It's so great for my pores. I for my pores have never been so scared. You should do that more often. Starshine, the sun says. Uh. Whoa, you did fantastic! Who gave you permission to be this smart? <laughs> Mommy is super proud of you, but I'm sure she's already told you that herself. Our next game is Wacko Wuggy. Head downstairs and have fun. Whack a hug. Oh my. I'm glad the one three prints I've made have held up. Oh. I brought I brought one in with me to work. I told you I made the like, some money off of that, so that was so what I've learned is that the code for the train is number of times they get you on average. So it's so it's um, this combination. So you need a uh, dog, Huggy, B, Mommy. Yep. And then you need them in this color uh, set. And then you just and then you just have to enter the light. Like. So by the uh, the number combination. Yep. Is, is uh, different each time. Yeah. So it's then you get, you know, one of sixteen options, you know, codes. Collect all sixteen, and you'll find a super dragon ball and a quest to hunt the rest of them for your. So do you want to uh, skip to the end or play the rest of the game? We'll play the rest of the game. I think we can make two episodes out of it. Get it? Chapter 2 gets two episodes. Chapter 1's like, no fair! I have the better subtitle system. Oh, baby jump's not jumping. Oh. Probably the same hops as Nate Adams. And uh, one of the reasons I wanted to uh, leave early is because this game, Wacko Wuggy, is annoying. If we get jump scared, we can just do that then. Well, there are the other saints that were pretty 
uh, dedicated to the Welcome game. Welcome to Wacko Wuggy. This advanced test is designed to assess the extent of your they reactionary you abilities. Yep. A dual so palm grab will, come will be provided to you for this you test. Smack. Around you are 18 sizable holes. And if you aren't quick on the draw, a huggy wuggy toy could appear oh, out of any one of these holes. Player two has entered. If Just one comes out, halfway through the game, uh, you lose player That's two all. somehow. Like, Good luck. It's just Poppy with the red hand. Just whack, whack. I'm gonna go to the source. Whack. Yep. That has been a message from your local milf. My uh, past performance is anything to go by. I wouldn't expect me to uh, get this on the first tower. I'm sure with my brain power included into yours, you'll have it. growling sound, that means they're about to jump. <laughs> it's like you're spotting at it with the paper. No. I feel like this is one of those, like, you have to, like, survive a couple minutes. Four or five, maybe. Something but. straight out of Squid Games. But, uh, I hate you. Oh, that one's going to get us. Yeah, looks like I got it. Hey. <laughs> Go back in your hole. Then, we're going to get got, and then someone's going to be like, oh, oops. This one went right by. Looks like you've got it. I haven't needed to point any out so far. Yeah. Yeah. First try. I surprise even myself. That is why you are the adequate gamer, shall I? I'm real proud of myself. Yeah. You see the uh, color combination? Yeah. That's the one I had in earlier. Yeah, we're definitely getting two videos out of this one. Yep. Alright. Alright, that's Hold up. Uh, if I were a game designer, I'd put a trophy somewhere. You are correct. Things. Yes, one is my favorite. Let's hear it. Press the button to feed me candy. Nom nom nom. Feed me more. Nom nom nom. 
More! More candy! You got it, buddy. <laughs> okay, no more candy. My tummy's full. No, man, he said more. Nom, nom, nom. I said no more! Nom, nom. More! Stop! More! Nom, nom, nom. Wow. Yeah. Uh, hey, I gave him more. What has he got to complain about? Yeah, so if you could uh, hit that switch for us, right there. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Thanks. Looking cute today. I think they drag her slowly under the floor. To get her out of sight. Oh, she probably just pops out. No, like clip her down in through in through the floor. Oh. As if they were right there. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, no matter how fast you do that, uh, the hallway shall always be gone. Which, in game maker turns, if I just do the thing you do, or just, you know, pop her back out of existence. But I like to imagine that once she, like, hits the turn, she just does, like, a Kermit the Frog run away. <laughs> That type of breakneck speed. Yeah, just imagine. Well, imagine with the uh, arms that big, you'd hit them, hear them, hit the ceiling. Or, or like you said, Kermit it up. So Saw the tape. I'm just gonna save that for a second. Oh. Wow. That's uh, smart. Yeah. Have you seen anything from this uh, chapter two? Not really. Okay. Now we're gonna. Uh, I was gonna watch this tape uh, no matter what, because check a look who's in it. <laughs> 